back up here this morning Got the machine warming up it is cold and windy and I'm gonna have a fire I do have a fire extinguisher today though safety first I uh, got that pile right there to burn and all this debris right here from the pond so I'm gonna go back here behind the pond dam and start digging a burn pit get all that put in it so I'm getting started on the burn pit down here already made a couple passes laying the better dirt over here to the right so that I can backfill the hole with it even though it's a little wet maybe the heat of the fire will dry it out a little bit
going. It'll take a little bit of work. She's wet. No joke, I spent two solid hours, about two and a half hours getting that fire going. It was, uh, it did not want to burn. It's not burning that good at the moment, but it'll, it's getting hot now. We'll get some coals in there and catch on up, hopefully. Quit smoking so bad. I'm working on transferring the brush now. I got the pile burnt that was between me and the fire now. Behind me, I mean. And uh, now I was able to drive over here. I'm going to grab what's left of this stuff and pile it up. That way, I can sit right there. It's a real wet spot right here. And uh, sit on the corner of the pond dam and grab it, throw it over there on the fire. As you can tell, it's chugging along pretty good. I just put that whole entire pile on it so it's smoldering, smoking pretty good, but it'll clean up here in a little bit. today that way it can burn overnight what's left and then I can finish cleaning everything up in the morning and wrap this project up mixed in there and it won't smoke so bad if you can kind of crisscross some bigger logs in there with it give a little more room to breathe
looking now I'm gonna go ahead and pile some more stuff on here and stop for a little bit of lunch let that do what it's gonna do such a fit to get going it sure is burning good now I mean it gave me a fit
it's cooking now. I don't want to pile it on here like it's going out of style now. That's the problem. You have to move this stuff so much it gets doggone so much dirt mixed in with it. Stacking it on there now. Check out the heat coming out of that. It is cooking. Of course, I'm putting all this nasty wet junk on there and it's smoking pretty good, but it'll clear up in a minute. So the fire's burning really good now. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Pile some more of this stuff on there. I can even turn. It's got some freaking muddy.
go back to the other side and finish laying it over here. Reach across the pile pretty much. here to block that wall of heat, kind of build a little wall, block some of that heat. everything on the fire and cleaning up the edge of the pond getting all the roots and mud junk that you know obviously I couldn't burn but it's too much to try to grade out so I'm just breaking all the big stuff up so that when I come in here with a cleanup bucket tomorrow, I can just kind of slick it up. I mean, if you're not going to get every stick out, but if you can kind of get the majority of them out, it'll clean up and leave a nicer product at the end. I'm just going to transfer this pile of mud and roots down and uh, put it in the burn hole tomorrow when the fire's done.
to any sticks that are out there that I can grab. I'll go ahead and grab them because I really can't do that with the grading bucket tomorrow. I just kind of reach out here and at least get them up on the bank. burning down pretty good that's all that's left It'll mostly be burnt down in probably two or three hours so I'll let that burn on down tonight and come back tomorrow and finish piling up whatever's left and grade everything out luckily everything's so wet don't have to worry about anything getting out of control so I'm gonna leave it like that things pretty wet all that brush is down here and everything's cleaned up just gotta grade everything out tomorrow that should be the last day oh that's gonna be fun cleaning those off Ugh, that is packed in there all right everything's kind of frozen this morning got everything on the fire yesterday let's go down here and 
check it out and see how much is left hopefully not a whole lot I'm gonna come down here first thing and repile anything that did not burn go ahead and swap out to the grain bucket and start uh, cleaning this slope up uh, that's all that's left to do today is just kind of grade over everything and uh hopefully this mud will kind of thaw out some it's kind of nice at the moment but it doesn't grade when it's frozen too good well, you can see what it looked like yesterday driving through here but, uh, I'll get all this flattened out let's see what we got down here it's kind of tough walking doesn't look like there's a whole lot left oh yeah that burn up pretty good just some stuff down there on the end I'll come over here first thing this morning and rake this out and get what's left right there and uh, get that burning and this will be it alright so I got everything repiled into that corner it's starting to take off pretty good now it should burn pretty good here for long I'm going to uh, go ahead and grab that pile of mud and sticks and throw it in what's left of this hole and uh, go put the grading bucket on and start doing some cleanup work well I got my bucket swapped out to my big fancy AMI grading bucket man I love this thing and uh one of the best things I ever bought for this machine probably said that about 10 times but it's the truth I mean look turn that mess into this I mean don't get me wrong that's far from perfect but uh, it sure is a whole lot better than uh, that anyways I'm gonna run down there um, after I finish looking this up hit that pond bank pull it all the way up you can see how bad the ruts are from yesterday they're like three to four feet deep uh, get all that slicked up I'm gonna try to pull all the dirt down to this corner because this is where it needs the most fill and uh, look like the fire is burning pretty good finish getting that uh, burn up cover it up I'll be the last thing I do well it's my favorite part of the job cleanup time make everything look nice and pretty for somebody that has borderline OCD it's it's a good time <laughs> Uh, I can't stand when everything looks like an immortal mess. And this is an immortal mess. But it is cleaning up pretty nicely. Yeah, there's still a few sticks left, but the first time they mow it with a bush hog, it'll chop them off. You'll always have that when you clear roots and stuff left in the ground go and strip all that off or you strip all the topsoil off then. So I'm trying to make this bank a nice smooth transition so that uh, they can mow as close as possible with a mower. Get that. Ah, there's a little root there. I'll chop that off. about the bucket is I can chop them off like that and then fix it back. So what I can do is I need a little bit of dirt right here. I'll rake a little bit down and I'll put the bucket right there into the water a foot or so. What that'll do, it'll mash that edge down and just blend it in perfect with the pond. Got another little stump right here. It's so muddy, you miss a few little things. So you clean everything up. Come up here blend all this back into the slope so I'll start right here and just kind of make a, a pass lay it up here and just kind of keep working my way down the hill and then I'll work from the hill back down Blended together. 
together. Wet 
mud in there over top of all that stuff. It's hot and cold. Let's see if I can't put this out now. It's steaming.
into this field. I'm going to try to straighten back down and expose it to original ground. I want to pile all the dirt up. The topper dirt right here because it was a little better material. I can put it back over top of the dam here. stuff I had to transfer through here to burn. 
cleaned it pretty good. This was that section of the pond that was like in water before, so I've actually I filled all this. And uh, it's not really part of the pond dam, it's more of the bank. It was a low area, so I'm just trying to take all the mess that I scraped up and wasted in here and kind of level it up in the process. That way there's a path around here before that little grave was like right at the edge of the pond. Now they have a nice little area here to be able to drive around once it dries. I mean it'll dry out it's be hard as concrete but it just needs to quit raining every two days and that will happen. Alright, well let me finish this up. I'm going to do a walk around of this pond because it sure has turned out nice. Well here it is, all done. This is going to be the view from the house. So the house will sit right up here. That's why I cleared all the trees on this bank all the way down to the pond so they have a nice view from sitting up here. Just finished grading everything out. It's pretty wet and nasty, but I got it smeared around pretty good. And uh, the owner and his son, they're doing the seeding and strawing for the erosion control. So they, they'll get all this seeded and strawed and First time you bush hog it, it'll finish chopping these sticks off. Let's walk down here and check it out. I guess the one good thing about it being so uh, wet is the pond filled up. If you remember, this is where all the trees were laying down into the pond went all the way around and clean up that whole bank and this bank right here the house is going to be sitting up there where the excavator is and I cleared off the dam and uh, put a new overflow in so we'll walk around over there and check that out see how much water's flowing in here Oh yeah, still got a pretty good little stream flowing in here. You can kind of see how the water's starting to clear up right here as the clear water comes in. I mean, it's going to take it a while since everything's all disturbed around here. But it, uh, when it's all said and done, it'll get back that clear where you can pretty much see the entire bottom. I like the way that bank just ties right directly into the pond nice smooth transition a view from this side shows you where the shows you a little better view of the house lot up there you can probably see the stakes up there where the excavator is be overlooking it that'll look nice Let's go check out the overflow. So there's the overflow. Trash rack is doing its job. Good thing about my style is you can come down here and clean that off. Now you really don't want like sticks and stuff to go down in there like that. But like the straw and stuff, that's fine. As you can tell, it's got enough flow that it's gonna wash that out. And this type of system, as you can tell, keeps the surface of the pond clean by creating that uh, surface pool right here. See how it just sucks everything in there? I need to get that stick out. So there it is. Yeah, it just pulls in there. We can probably go down here to the back. See it all flowing out. So I actually ran this one out of the side because there's a creek down here. 
it was just going to be best just to tie it back in to the creek there's all the straw that'll flow out i got the pipe extended down here just to the bottom so it'll drain out and just flow off into the woods and here's the view looking from the dam back up there to the house you got some floating straw that should sink down the wind will blow it up here next to the edge you got a lot more straw to put out sir <laughs> I still don't think we have enough. <laughs> no, you'll have to get some more. That side over here is going to eat it up, but oh, yeah. it's got to be done. If not, it'll all wash back into the pond. Not instantly, but best to get everything stabilized and it'll keep the pond nice and clean. But that's where the burn pit was this morning. I was able to get all that graded back out, all that stuff burnt and uh slicked everything up all the way around in that side so i think it turned out really nice it took about five and a half days five and a half working days is what i spent spent on this so might as well say six days time i get everything cleaned up